Hello everyone! I am here at Cass Rock State Park. My name is Haley and I am the new fellow here at the park. And I would love to talk to you guys today about two of our woodpeckers that we have here at the park. So our first one is our acorn woodpecker, which they are making a lot of noise right now. And then also our second one is our pileated woodpecker, which is more quiet and shy. But that is totally fine and okay. So our first one we love to talk to you about today is our acorn woodpecker. So our acorn woodpecker, if you've never seen it before, it's okay. Here is a picture of what it looks like. So it has a red cap on its head, like a little beanie, and it's black and white, and it has little white patches underneath its wings when it's flying and these really cool little circles around its eyes which make them look like little clowns. So if you come to the park and you don't see one right away you can definitely hear them because they are loud and boisterous and very chatty and so let's take a listen. They sound like little monkeys chattering away at each other. Not forget about what they eat. So they eat acorns and that is very important. So these hardwood forests behind me provide a great habitat for these acorn woodpeckers to gather acorns. So they gather acorns for the winter and they will store them in a special tree called a snag. And a snag is a dead or dying tree. Let's take a closer look at what these trees look like when they have fallen down completely, but they have remnant signs of a woodpecker. And they can store up to 50,000 acorns in one tree. That is a lot of acorns. But that also takes generations for them to do. So just like how we have a pantry at home that stores our food, they have a snag which stores their acorns for the winter. They have a very complex social group where they have multiple adults living in one little colony. So they can have to 12 adults in a colony that raises all their young. And the young will stay within the colony for several years to help raise their siblings, which is super cool. And it's like some of our families that have a lot of siblings or you help your siblings be raised or multiple parents. So it's very unique because birds normally don't do that, but humans do. Um, so now we know a little bit about our acorn woodpecker, let's talk about our pileated woodpecker. Here's a picture of what a pileated woodpecker looks like. And they have the striking colors of that red cap, but instead of having it like a beanie, it kind of looks like a mohawk or if someone just kind of pulled its hair back and slicked it back. It has a cool hairstyle. And then also it's black and white, but it has these striking stripes on its face. The pileated woodpecker is more shy and quiet. So if you come here and you don't get to see one and you don't get to hear one, that's okay. Because we have the sound here for you today. So let's take a listen. Yeah, so that's what they sound like in it. The pileated woodpecker will only have one mate for a whole year instead of having multiple mates and then having a whole collective family. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining me today here at Castle Rock and we'll see you next week.